Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and I do astrology readings and courses in both Western astrology and Vedic astrology. And I'm wanting to share with you two, to my mind, important and moving discoveries I made last night about the truth of Chiron, where Chiron is the point in our birth chart which depicts our existential wound. And before I tell you what those two discoveries are, which I do believe reinforce the truth of Chiron as Wounded Healer Declaration, I do need to tell you about the Chiron myth, because otherwise the two discoveries won't fully make sense. And then we're going on to a second part to this video where I tell you what it can mean to have Chiron conjunct one of your planets in your birth chart, etc., <clears throat> and how to find healing. So first of all, what is the Chiron myth? Well, basically the myth is that Kronos, or Saturn, as he's known in the Roman mythology, was mating with a nymph called Philera. And they realised they risked being discovered by Saturn's wife, Rhea, as she was approaching. And they felt they'd better do something very quickly so that she wouldn't find out. So what Kronos or Saturn did, he changed himself into a stallion to gallop away from the site, to gallop away from Philera. But in fact, the myth says that the moment after he became a stallion, but before he could gallop away, he ejaculated and she became pregnant. But then, of course, Saturn galloped away and Rhea never knew. But what happened was, nine months later, Philera gave birth to Chiron. And Chiron was a centaur, half horse, half man. And the important thing about that is that because of his connection to being a horse, he's fully in contact with the instinctual side of our nature. And so Chiron the centaur grew up and he became preeminent. He became a king. <clears throat> and he became the greatest of healers. And I want to point out an important parallel myth there. In the Vedic myth of India, the myth of the Vedic lunar sign Ashwini is that the Ashwini Kumaras, the great healers of the gods, were also born out of a situation of sexual panic and also their father had taken the form of a stallion pursuing their mother. And so both the Vedic peoples and the Greek peoples have this sense that the horse energy is connected with a form of rapid, deep, instinctual healing. And so Chiron lived to be an adult and he set up and lived in a cave on Mount Pelion as a philosopher, as a teacher and above all as a supreme healer. And his students were august, they included Achilles and Jason and the healer god Asclepius himself. But something went terribly wrong. Hercules was out hunting one day and there was some drinking and unfortunately Hercules wounded Chiron in the thigh with a poisoned arrow, often seen as a sexual wound. 
Chiron was in agony. The great centaur was unable to live almost, but he could not die because he was a demigod. His father was a god. He was an immortal. And so he lived on and on in agony, screaming in terrible pain, destroyed by his wound, unable to fulfil his destiny because of his wound. Zeus, the father of the gods, felt it was a disgrace to have a god in such a state and didn't want Chiron seen amongst the company of the immortals. And so Chiron, the great teacher, thought of a solution. He offered a deal to Zeus, king of the gods. He said, if you let me go down into the underworld, into Hades, in other words, embrace death, and find release from my pain. Will you do me a favour in return? And Zeus agreed. What's your favour? he asked. And Chiron said, My favour is that you must liberate Prometheus. Now Prometheus was a titan, and Prometheus had earlier angered great Zeus because Prometheus had stolen fire from heaven and given it to humanity. Now fire isn't just fire, it's crafts, it's ability to make utensils and weapons, it's inspiration, the fire in the head. It's the whole principle of fire. And Zeus was really angry with Prometheus for stealing the fire of the gods and wanting to give it to humans. But because Zeus had agreed to Chiron's request, he had to accede. Prometheus had been chained to a rock. Every day his entrails were eaten out by vultures. And every night the sentence of Zeus was that the entrails would heal, only to be eaten out again, tortured forever for what he had done, sharing God-nature with humans. But Zeus had to agree. And so we come to the discovery. And this is weird, and I don't know if anyone else has sort of realised this. There are two amazing things which prove to me the truth of Chiron as a wounded healer in our birth chart who we really need to study and understand what is our existential wound how do we heal it now the first is that the planetoid Chiron was discovered on the 1st of November in fact on the 1st of November 1977 at 10 a.m. in California now this is important because the 1st of November is Samhain, the ancient Celtic myth about the veils between the worlds thinning, about the beings of the underworld coming and mingling with humans, about death and rebirth. And so is it an accident that a great wounded healer who took on descent into the world of death which resulted in the healing of humanity, that his planet was discovered on the 1st of November. But there's a second thing, and I don't know if people know this, it, you know, it's absolutely amazing. Where was Chiron in the heavens on the moment he was discovered on that day by an astronomer looking at photos of the heavens? This is so important. Chiron, in the Vedic chart, is in Ashwini Nakshatra. Now, Ashwinis, people with sun, moon, ascended in Ashwini, are healers. The Ashwini twins, the Ashwini Kumaras, are the healers of the gods. Is it an accident that the western planet of our existential wound and healing was in Ashwini sign? When it was discovered, of course not. So we have two things which, to my mind, prove the nature of Chiron as our wounded healer, the place of our existential wound, the gateway to our healing. 
And of course, the nature of Prometheus says that once we heal our wound and undergo death and rebirth healing our wound, we in fact seize fire from heaven. The inspiration flows through us. And then, having healed ourselves, we can heal others. So, I feel this, is, this isn't coincidence, what I've discovered. So what I'd ask you to do, you know, is get in touch with me for a reading which will include Chiron in your birth chart, or study one of my courses to include study of Chiron. I offer a vision journey where you can journey to meet the centaur. All the details are on my website and in the blog associated with this YouTube. Open yourself to definition of your existential wound, which is the subject of part two of this video. Open yourself to healing your wound so that you can walk with the fire of heaven. Open yourself to the healing of your wound so that you can become the healer of others. Thank you.